With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's start the question. In Cadmus method of estimation of halogens, 250 milligrams of an organic compound gave 141 milligrams of AGBR. 141 milligrams of AGBR. Okay. The percentage of bromine in the compound is, we have been given the atomic mass of silver, that's Ag, 108, and bromine, that's 80. So, let us understand this. Carrier's method is used for the determination of the amount of halogen present in a given compound. Yes, so it determines the amount of halogen which is denoted as X in a given organic compound okay in an organic compound sample or in, an, in a given organic compound yes now what more we have to find out the percentage of bromine in this case in short the percentage of halogen so whenever we have to find out the percentage of halogen how do we carry it out the mathematical expression goes in as follows. We have to take the atomic weight of that particular halogen whose percentage needs to be calculated into the weight of silver halide which has been obtained, yes, divided by the molecular weight of that particular silver halide into the weight of the given organic compound. And since it is a percentage, we would be multiplying it by 100, of course. Yes. So now in this case, what all has been given, let us check that out. Okay. So weight of the organic compound has been given to us. Yes. What is the weight of the organic compound over here? It's 250 milligrams. Yes. What is it? 250 milligram. What next? We have been given the weight of silver bromide that's agbr okay and that is how much 141 milligram okay now the atomic weights and the molecular weights have been already given okay so the atomic weight of br is how much 80 and the molecular weight of agbr which we are going to need according to the formula if you see it's going to be 108 plus 80 and that is going to be 188, isn't it? Yes. So now since all of the values are available, let us proceed. So percentage of Br will be equal to atomic weight of Br which is equal to 80 into weight of AgBr which has been obtained. That's 141 milligram divided by molecular weight of AgBr that's 188 into weight of the organic compound that's 250 milligrams now 141 and 250 both are in milligrams so we can cancel that off yes and the total into 100 i mean total in the sense this whole ratio yeah now proceeding towards the calculations let us cancel this off this goes by 4 and over here we have 47 and 47 3 is 141 and that gives me 24 percent so 24 percent of bromine is the percentage of the bromine in the compound okay and that matches with our option number four i hope you understood the explanation thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today